Scorpio. Hi. Good morning. Well, it's morning for me. I don't know if it's going to be morning when you tune it. <laughs> Can we talk about how I'm, I don't know what the future holds for me in nails because I'm right handed and literally all of these nails like got loose loose as fuck this hand is thriving but i'm like i'm not paying like come on this was only a week ago first of all so i'm just like imagine paying 70 dollars every week because one fucking nail gets loose one nail got loose another nail got loose another nail got loose so i just popped them all off at this point like i'm not gonna walk around with fucking two fingers on like but i'm like i'm definitely not about to go get a, a full set when there's nothing wrong here wilding like these bitches gonna have to learn how to actually like make nails that last i'm about to not get my nails done like that's crazy to me that's crazy to me it's already crazy to me that i'm paying 70 dollars. i know you bitches pay like 150 dollars, and that's crazy to me because all these nails do is chip break and look ugly um 70 dollars is already crazy to me so now I'm like, all right, I paid that and the nails don't even last a week. I can't get 70 days. I mean, seven days, $10 a day at least or something. Anyway. Hi, Scorpio. Scorpio. You won't break my soul. Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay. Who do Scorpios need to be right now? Which hip hop queen do my Scorpios need a message from? Scorpio. Which hip hop queen do Scorpios need a message from? Who do Scorpios need to resonate with right now? Who do Scorpios need to be? Last shuffle for Scorpio. Mary J. Blige healing. We love Mary, okay? This is clearly about you healing. But this is also, I feel like, your own healing powers. Like, the things that you have to offer after you're healed. But anyway, let me, let me see. Let me see. Uh, no one can get us in our feelings quite like Mary J. Blige. Now, ain't that the fucking truth? You can't heal what you don't reveal. Mary's card is prompting you to take a closer look at the traumas you've endured to understand how you're behaving in the present. Identify the obstacles you've encountered in your life. Sometimes we react so aggressively to the slightest things and have no idea why. Well, it's time to explore the reasons. A personal deep dive will help you better understand yourself and in turn, help you better control your emotions. If you can't do it on your own, seek the guidance of a professional or a spiritual guide or elder. You deserve a drama-free life, starting with yourself. So it's time for you to take control of like your journey, your healing, your life. Um, it's time for you to, what did I say? I literally said take control and the emperor is at the bottom of the tarot deck, which I, which I think is like cool. Um, but it's time for you to, I don't want to say boss up as if like your emotions are not valid, but I think overall, um, the reality is that what's done is done and the trauma exists and it's time to fucking fix it. And I feel like, what did I say? I feel like it has something to do with what you have to offer once you're healed. Once again, this is emperor energy. Once you're healed, I feel like you turn into a boss, a boss, like a boss of not, not just work but a boss of your life and it puts you in a position to be able to manifest which more of what you want the life you want for real you know what i mean so i feel like healing is the theme for you right now and i don't know if it's because you've been holding things in 
hiding from the truth. Scorpio, Scorpio. What energy is currently crowning Scorpio? Give me the energy that is currently crowning Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. What energy is currently crowning Scorpio? What energy is currently crowning Scorpio? That shuffle for Scorpio. What energy is crowning Scorpio? Saturn. Wisdom. You're supposed to be learning and growing. So you could be dealing with the Capricorn though, because Mary is a Capricorn. And then Saturn houses Capricorn. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. So on this card, it says discipline, structure, time, responsibility, test, ambition, difficulty, restraint, grounding, maturity, gravity, realism, self-control, <gasps> excuse me, practicality. So once again, you have all of this very stern energy. You have the emperor, you have Mary, you have Saturn. All of this is real deal shit. Like nothing here is fake. Nothing here is Pisces, dreamy, Neptune energy. Nothing here is, is delusional. Everything is cold, hard, fact, verbatim. And I'm feeling it inside of me. Like, I don't want to say, I don't want to be offensive or like mean, but I feel like God is on some like, get your shit together type shit, Scorpio. Like, because it's almost like, I feel like now you're just running in circles, making silly decisions, doing like things that you just don't, need to be doing because you won't take control of this part of your life the part of you that needs to heal why are you acting out why do you have these responses to things like they just said in the book um and it's because you are still attached to the traumas and you're still like responding from a space of trauma um but it's time for you to, to incorporate some discipline. It's time for you to incorporate some kind of structure. What, what what life do you want to create for yourself? Like, what time do you wake up? Like, do you create time for yourself to, like, meditate? Uh, like, a morning routine. I just was watching, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Keir Gaines, but he's a therapist, this fucking beautiful black man. He's a therapist um on instagram and he talks to us in our language but he completely holds it down and he was saying like if you're thinking that your morning routine is waking up brushing your teeth and having breakfast that's not a routine um that's uh what did he say that's uh oof, i forgot what the fuck he said but he used two different words and pretty much what he's saying is that one is just you is a checklist of things that you just need to get done. And the other one provides a space for you to connect with yourself, for you to meditate, for you to reflect, for you to uh, actually create something tangible, spiritual for yourself, like type energy. So with that being said, I feel like it's time for you to get into more practical practices in your life every day around your healing in the person that you want to be in the life that you want to manifest does that make sense i hope you don't feel like i'm rambling because a lot of people don't be wanting the truth <laughs> now nah, but i feel like scorpios can handle the truth scorpio show me scorpio's immediate surroundings Show me Scorpio's immediate surroundings. Show me Scorpio's immediate surroundings. We done with the Gemini. Show me Scorpio's immediate surroundings. The Ten of Swords, the Knight of Wands. So the, it's over. The 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 betrayal, the heartbreak, the pain. That's done. Or there's someone around you who's done with feeling betrayed. But I think this is your energy, to be honest. But it almost feels like you want to rush in. 
I feel like you may have been afraid to have a relationship or a relationship was... I see you wanting to rush in and maybe put an end to some backstabbing and betrayal or this is somebody coming into you. Um, with this three of wands here, they could be travel. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody spying. Uh, this is you. Yeah. The King of Cups, that's you with the Ace of Swords. So you want to come in and you want to tell the truth so that this backstabbing betrayal can be over. We go from the 10 to the 1. You want to put an ending to something that was bad. You want to come in with some truth. You're very passionate about this, but I also feel like this is going to happen on impulse. I, I feel like this is something that is not going to happen like... Like you've been planning it, but you've also not been planning when you're going to do it. You know what you want to do. You don't know when you want when you want to do it type of energy is the vibe that I'm getting. Or this person that's coming towards you with the Knight of Wands. Because this is not somebody who's calculated. This is somebody who's like horny or like just driven by passion, by impulse. Like right now, like it meet, like just. But behind it is kind of like bigger energy with this King of Cups. So this is somebody who has feelings this is somebody who who you've been watching you have feelings you've been watching somebody you have feelings you've been watching somebody <laughs> hold on i have to go get my other deck real quick <clears throat> immediate surroundings show me Scorpio Oof. I love when shit fly out like that I saw the lovers on this in this deck so like I said you could be dealing with the Gemini but it looks like there's a decision a choice that you have to make or but see once again this is something that I feel like you've been planning you've been waiting on but you haven't been moving on and the movement is going to be impulsive and out of nowhere quick with the seven of pentacles the seven of swords definitely been a plan I do feel like if it's possible that someone around you has been trying to steal your money Scorpio well, let's clarify this, lovers. Let's clarify this, lovers. Why is the lovers here for Scorpio? Clarify this, lovers, for Scorpio. Clarify this, lovers, for Scorpio. Why is the lovers here? With the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like in your immediate surrounding, there's a connection. This might be a family, a home, or you have to decide how you want this, when you want this, where you want this. What else? I want coffee. What else? With the lovers and the Ten of Pentacles. What else? What else? here what else the lovers to the ten of pentacles the king of cups the three of wands yeah this is something that you've been planning you want to give your love scorpio or somebody wants to give their love look i can't even make this up the emperor right here again I'm not gonna lie, I feel like the energy is a little cryptic and I'm not sure why. Like, it's clear what's happening here, but I feel like I'm not getting a full storyline. Do you see that? There's the lover, so there's a decision that you have to make, or there is a divine counterpart in your energy. 
and that's being clarified by the ten of pentacles so that means that this relationship has the potential to go all the way to the ultimate satisfaction and there's a coin attached so there might be property land um some kind of generational uh inheritance or something like that but with the three of wands it's like something is at a far something requires travel but also this is something that you've been waiting for or you've been planning for My stomach just started hurting. Let's see. Let's see. What's this Ten of Pentacles? Clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles. I mean, it's a Ten of Pentacles. I don't know how you clarify that. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups. So I do feel like this isn't something that has actually manifested. Like you're not married yet. Or maybe you are. This could be an apology from your person. You could even be finding out maybe. But this is a night. I was going to say that you're pregnant or, you know, something. What else? Clarify the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? What is this Three of Wands? Clarify the Three of Wands. Clarify the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? The Two of Wands with the Six of Pentacles. So yeah, this is a decision. You have a decision. It's more about whether you want to do it or not, I feel. I don't think it's necessarily between two people. And it can be. It can definitely be between two people, but I think this is more about if what road you want to take in life, in your life period, in your life moving forward, period. You could have a Mars in Aries or someone with a Mars in Aries could be significant. I'm definitely seeing travel though, full moon energy. Like you need to make this decision by the full moon in order to, you know, manifest it into this cycle, like a, you know, into this next cycle of your life. I honestly feel like someone here knows what they have to do. You might be hesitant, scared, or nervous. This could be someone who doesn't want to give up their singleness. This could be someone who looks at relationships as like a burden you or this person. Relationships are a burden. Now I have to be responsible for me and someone else's feelings. I have to be honest about my feelings. This is how this person is feeling. Whoever you or whoever. I have to be honest. That's really what's killing this motherfucker. I have to be honest about my feelings every time. Somebody's scared of themselves, of their own love, their own... What they have to offer. But I see a karmic justice coming. Like, whatever is supposed to happen is going to happen. Period. All right, let me pull some more cards. What, what else do we have for Scorpio? What else do we have here for Scorpio? What else does Scorpio need to know? What else does Scorpio need to know? What other advice does Scorpio need? Scorpio. What other advice does Scorpio need? What does Scorpio need to know? Queen of Swords. Bruh, listen. I don't know what this fortune is. Fortune in your energy, Scorpio. There's money. Scorpio, you have the Ten of Pentacles. 
to the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. This is ultimate fulfillment. Like your home life, your marriage life, you're about to be fulfilled with this Queen of Swords. Who's this Queen of Swords? This could be a Libra Gemini, Gemini, heavy, gem, heavy on the Gemini, Libra Gemini or Aquarius. I see you taking a leap of faith and I, I, I see you having a new beginning. Look, the fool to the king of pentacles. I feel like this relationship can even be healing for your finances. You may be marrying rich or something. Yeah, the four of swords, the knight of cups, the ace of cups. The Four of Pentacles of Temperance, guys. This is beautiful. There's something here about, I feel like if you're someone in this person, all right, if you're the person who this person's coming forward, they're being honest and they're being true. And what you need to do is believe in yourself and believe that you can, you see the owl? Believe that you can see through the things that you need to see through. So if if I'm getting the, the energy of take this at face value, like don't think that you need to investigate. Don't think that you can't trust this person unless immediately you see you can't trust them. You understand what I'm saying? But like, take it, take it at face value. Like this person is not, has no, I also feel like this person knows that you can see right fucking through them. Like this is the queen of swords and vice versa. So I feel like this, this is an omen. This is a sign of this being in truth and this being in honesty. My ear is ringing. This is being in truth and this is being in honesty. This is, this is your Ten of Cups. This is your Ten of Pentacles. That's the truth. And that's beautiful. I love the way that came out like that. It's not many. You see, it's not a lot of cards. It's just like straight to the point. Like, I feel like fixed energy is like that, though. There's not much fluff because it's fixed. It's fixed on what, it, what it's fixed on. Like, I just want to know about this one thing. Like... Fixed. All right, what self care do my Scorpios need? Any self care for Scorpios, please? You may need to go get your nails done, Scorpio. I don't know why I started the video talking about my nails. What self care do Scorpios need, please? Off the top of the deck. Two more shuffles for Scorpio. Last shuffle. What does Scorpio need? Off the top of the deck. I hold purity and high esteem. So this has to do with, once again, you trusting your true, what was I saying? I was saying that the person was saying you, you were feeling like, damn, now I have to be honest about my emotions. Every emotion, I have to be honest. Yes, there's something here about once you are honest about your own pure intentions, your own pure and true feelings and the things that you're experiencing within you change your world and that's why you have this healing whatever it is that you haven't been shining that light on it's time for you to shine the light and that's what's pure and that's what's going to be able to to have you in this this truth so where you don't have to question people because you know you're being true so Everything around you is going to be a reflection of that purity. Hold your purity in high esteem, your truth. How are you feeling? It's time to, 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 to get your shit together with Saturn here. And Saturn is in retrograde, meaning that we're all getting our karma right now. So if you're feeling away, it's because this is your karma. This is, this is what you've brought upon yourself And it's time for you to control, take back the control. All right, Scorpio. I love you. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Come back. Bye.